After identifying the problem area on the load carrying side of the belt, looking particularly for the high spot, prepare to install the True Track Trough Tracker at or just before the problem area, ensuring that it is installed before transitional idlers and after loading chutes. Remove a standard troughing frame at the problem area. Remove the wing roll assembly from the trough tracker. Position the true track trough between the belt and the structure. Very important, ensure the true track trough is installed in the correct direction. The wing rolls must touch the oncoming conveyor belt first. Bolt L-shaped bracket onto structure. Before tightening, ensure both brackets are knocked fully forwards or backwards to ensure the L-shaped brackets are perpendicular to the structure and lined up exactly opposite each other. Once completed, tighten all bolts. Before you tighten the true track trough height adjustment bolts to the L-shaped brackets, ensure that it has got sufficient tension by pushing it backwards and forwards. It should be quite stiff and tight. If it moves easily backwards and forwards, there is not enough tension. Loosen the height adjustment bolts and move it upwards one hole on the L-shaped bracket. Recheck tension. If tension is insufficient, move up another hole until sufficient tension is achieved. Once you are satisfied with the amount of tension, tighten True Track Trough height adjustment bolts. Install the True Track Trough slightly higher than the normal existing idlers to ensure good traction. Slide the wing roll assembly into the arms on the True Track Trough. On the side of the belt that is running off center, set the wing roll to touch the belt. Set the other wing roll to miss the belt by 20 to 40 millimeters, depending on how far the belt is running off center. Tighten bolts on true track trough arms. Start the conveyor belt and wait until the true track trough has centralized that section of belt. Once the true track trough has centralized the problem area of the belt, stop the conveyor belt. Loosen the bolts on true track trough arms. Adjust both wing rolls to miss the edges of the conveyor belt by between 5 and 10 millimeters on each side. The height of the wing rolls can be adjusted if necessary. Finally, tighten the bolts on the true track trough arms. Installation is now complete. Start the conveyor belt to test the true track trough tracker. Test that the true track trough tracks the belt from both sides. Using a blunt object, manually detrack the belt by pushing the outside of the true track trough fully in one direction. When you release it, the true track trough should automatically center the belt. Repeat this test by pushing the outside of the true track trough fully in the opposite direction. If installed correctly, it should centralize the belt from both sides. If sufficient belt alignment is not achieved, increase the tension. If the problem still persists, knock the existing standard trough frames perpendicular to the structure before and after the true track trough. Remove any other tracking devices in front of or behind the true track trough as they will reduce or interfere with the performance of the true track.